convert by mill right so this has uh, uh, 77 pounds of plutonium inside so plutonium because of its radioactive it's keep it really hot so it has thousands of lead mm. heated by this the other side is pulled by the space right mm. so it generates a lot of electricity mm. so uh -huh. this is powered by that so uh, i can see this in papers so this papers. whole thing is uh, made like that six wheel is folded like this and this put it space. into a huge can and this is the can and then on the back there's an aeroshell that that's all that when it enter mass here the this whole thing comes and hit the Martian atmosphere from this side. So this back shell gets really heated for 3900 Fahrenheit. Yeah. So when it protects all the everything inside because that takes the heat. So then when it heats up and also it slows down by air resistance. Well what they put it in the so it was a make a cutla in Kalalano. I tell them how make a it was a make a the other land. Make a la peria, make a lot of money. 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 Make a Making <laughs> Then it's taking pictures and analyzing and trying to find the place. It's being made to a rocket right now. Launching date window is November 25th to January uh, 16th. No, no, sorry, November 25th to December 16th is a launching window. following uh, Early August next year, 2012, it's supposed to enter to Mars. It's an eight month journey. Yeah, eight month journey. Eight months because we are at that time is close. We mass well done in our day better salary. Magadape, our deca, those two the end of my mass well out of the canape or deca. We think our deca does a rec, a two mass we long enough. A long winter, Mehema, Mehem Marseno, Mehem Atena, make a long winter kit will up in Mehemarina. I thought of me to get a little half there. So, uh, how much long it takes to uh, a spacecraft to reach uh, Mars? Eight months. Eight months. At least <coughs> min uh, minimum is eight months. So all these uh, processes happen in one single go? 
all these things? All these ha things happen, what you have seen here, in three and a half minutes. Oh. Because everything is autonomous. Okay. So when you are building here, Please, there are to three be precise, teams yeah. working for the entry, descent, landing. Three teams, but at the end, they all have to work together. Mm. Uh, they work separately, then they have to join. Right. So entry, descent, landing, we call EDL, is three and a half minutes. So uh, when we send this, what we build here is this whole can. Not only hold that can, the conical shape thing you saw. There's a on, there's an upper stage also on top of that. So we make the upper stage. Upper stage, this thing just entered to the mass. The upper stage is a stage that carry it from Earth orbit to Martian orbit. What you have seen is hmm. just entering, entering part. part. Okay. So then we built all that stage and made those two together and put it in a can. And can is the one we ship to Cape Canaveral. Now it's being made. At. Then they fire the thing. Then they take control seven minutes from Cape Canaveral until it goes to Earth orbit. First, American rocket usually have two stages. First stage it launch to the orbit. Then the second stage it just go on orbit a little bit. Second stage push out from the orbit. Once they push out from the orbit, they are going to uh, blow out the can away. Then the satellite will start moving. At that point, they pass the control to Pasadena. So then Pasadena take control over the whole mission. These are different experiments. Mm -hmm. it's the Kemin is the instrument we developed here. There was an instrument earlier, uh, it had laser, that one called TLS.